the RV video tutorial on agent-based models part three. Okay, remember agent-based models, each agent is an individual that has behaviors and it also has states or attributes that we can monitor through time. Now, we played with these before and we generated a population of 10. So these are our agents. I'm going to generate them again just so we can look at them. And if I look at agent one, if I can type it correctly, you can see that the first person is our only exposed person. And this time, since I ran it again, they're less likely to meet other people. We have another person in here who's very unlikely to meet people. We have another person in here who's very likely to meet people. So that's what we want to use in this. We want to use this mixing information a little bit more when our modifications that we're going to make. And we also want to make the modification that not every time you meet somebody exposed, you become exposed. So let's look at this real quick in our setup here. So what I need to do is I need to come down here and... When I do this meet two, I have to do two things. Number one, everybody needs to meet somebody. This one does not guarantee everybody meets somebody, especially these recluse people. So we're going to put a plus one on here. So keep that in mind. On line 31, we added a plus one to our previous code. This is going to ensure that everybody meets somebody. Okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to say, well... Not everybody wants to meet everyone else because the way we have it currently set up, everybody's equally likely to meet the other person. Uh, so we want to change this to agent one mixing. So this will become our probability of mixing with this person or touching this person or interacting with this person. So this number six is going to show up a lot. Okay. He's going to get show up a lot and number five is probably not going to show up very often they're not going to mix with that many people but they will mix with at least one person the next thing we want to change is if they become uh, exposed how do i know they become exposed well what i'm going to do is i'm going to generate a urand one which is r unif i'm going to pull one zero one and what i'm going to say is only half the time right now so if you rand one is less than 0 0.5, then you will become, or this agent will become exposed. Okay. So the, I've set up another criteria here that makes it harder for somebody to become exposed. Now, what I still do is I run through all this and let's hope this runs here. Give it a go. Cross our fingers. Hope that it works. And sure enough, everybody ran through. And what we can do is we can look at agent one again. And now we see here only one person is still exposed. But if I keep running this, still only one person. And I'm going to run it a couple times. Or did I run everybody from the top? No. Run it a few times. And hopefully... Yeah, now everybody's exposed. Just running it a few times and then all of a sudden everybody becomes exposed because they start mixing with each other. So that leads to our next thing is, is how do we keep track of this? How do we get these summaries and how do we keep track of this? And that's what we're going to do in the next video. So see you there.